Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's me, Hector Looking, aka Sincere, coming back again with another video. Sorry, I know it's been a while since I released a video. It's been a while, but the last video that I released, I told myself I was like, I think the next video I'm gonna release is gonna be, it's gonna be on October 11th, cause October 11th is National Coming Out Day. Um, <clears throat> if you guys aren't aware, uh, yes, I am gay. I don't. If you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, which if you don't, you should. I'll have the link in the description. Um, but um, if you've seen on my Instagram and my Instagram, my TikTok, my Snapchats, my everything, you have seen that I've come out. I display my boyfriend on all social medias. I'm currently driving right now because uh, it's actually his birthday right now turns 20 I, my birthday was october 6th so me and him have the same birthday we have the same name and it's just crazy but this video is not about him this video is about me it just so happens that his birthday lands on this day <laughs> um but yes tonight today is national coming out day um i came out about two years ago i don't really like calling it coming out because um, straight people never have to announce when they came out. They never, hey, mom, I'm straight. You know what I mean? Um, I forgot. It was a movie. It was a movie that I displayed it. And it was like the funniest thing. It was like, hey, mom, I got to tell you something. I'm straight. And she's like, oh, my God. I, I know if you're watching this video, I know you know what movie or TV show I'm talking about. You have to know what, which movie or video I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, so... I don't really like calling it coming out. I'm more or less like to just say I just, you know, I, I, I found myself and I discovered I, I know what I, I know what I am and I know what I like. Um, I'm only 20 years old, so I still got a lot of left, a, a lot of life ahead of me. That's what at least everybody says. But to be honest, when you're living yourself, it doesn't feel like you have a lot of time. It feels like you're pinching, you're pinching it very close to the end or just you know it's like you just don't have enough time to do anything so you always feel like you rush and stuff um i don't really like calling it coming out i'm more or less just say that i came i became one with myself i became true to myself um i still have a lot to discover about myself because there's still a bunch of stuff that i don't really know um about myself personally so i'm just hoping that i can obviously obviously my journey will be to obviously find myself um yeah but today is not about that today is about coming out <laughs> all right so sorry can we get try to sidetrack okay so um if you know me um i only have like three maybe four or five main people that i talk to um the first person that i actually told that um i was bisexual because i came out as bisexual first i told my best friend i told her i told her that i was bisexual and then i had told my other friend my other best friend i have two best friends they don't like to claim my other my main best friend doesn't like to claim it but i'm like bitch i got two best friends anyways um so i wound up telling my other best friend and then um and then i wound up telling my sister but um when i told all these people they were all like oh my god wow really wow like i didn't know but they knew at least a little bit they knew like deep down inside they're like this nigga gay <laughs> but um yeah so i told them first um and then i had came out and i was just like hey um actually i think i might just be gay gay like i'm full full-blown gay and it was just like okay uh, we don't care like we still obviously love you though we still love you we don't really care da -da -da -da. um so now now I told my mom. When I told my mom, um, that was the first time we ever told my mom. I didn't even know I was gonna tell her that day. It literally just so happened that this kid that I was talking to around at, at that time, um, I had went on a date with him, and um, at, at the end of the date, I was telling him stuff like that. I was like, I just don't really feel like 100% um, like happy in life. Like it's like I like I'm not being 100% true to myself. I feel like I always have to constantly hide stuff. Like, on my Instagram, I wouldn't follow, like, gay pages or I wouldn't follow gay people because I didn't want, like, my parents to find out and be like, oh, what the fuck? Like, why? Like, you're following these gay pages, da da da, da. Like, you know what I mean? Now I follow, like, I think, like, 50-something 50, 50 gay, gay pages and gay pages including magazines and people, like, all, like, within that same thing. And I'm always adding new people. 
I mean, obviously, if I find them inspirational or if I like the content that they put out. Um, but yeah, I went up to my mom and I was just like, I was just like, I came home, I went on a date. Well, I didn't, I don't, I didn't say date because it was a date. I went out on a date, I came back, she was like, oh, hey, how, how, like, how, like, where were you at? And I was like, oh, I was on a date. And she was like, oh, where would you, where were you on a date with? Like, who did you go with? And I was like, I went with a boy, I went with a boy. And she was on her phone and she, when I said I went with a boy, she said, okay, um, so how did that go? And I was just like, it was cool. I liked it. It was fun. Um, we just, she was like, well, okay, well, did you do? I was like, oh, nothing much. We just, we went out to eat. We went, we went to get some food. And then we went, we rode around for a little bit. And we were just chit-chatting it up or whatever. And she was like, oh, okay, so, so does this mean you like boys? And I was like, yeah, like, I, like I'm gay. Like, I'm gay. And she was like, your sister told me something was up, but I didn't believe her because I wanted to believe, I wanted you to tell me first. And I was just like, wow jada said something she was like you know jada was gonna tell me and i was just like hmm okay but um i told my mom she was cool with it um she actually wound up calling my aunt because i have an aunt um um my other aunt um which is the one that has the other youngest daughter which i used to hang out with them a lot like i used to hang out with them more than i hung out with my other cousins but um i she had called her because um I guess my cousin, my girl cousin, had recently just came out as gay as well. So she had asked her, and she was like, oh, um, how did you take it when, you know, such and such told you? And she was just basically, it was just like, I don't care. Like, it's not my life to live. It's their life to live. As long as they're happy and they're comfortable with their own skin, then that's all that matters. And basically, my mom was on the same page. My mom was on the same page before she had even got on the phone with my aunt. She had already told me. She was like, listen, like, obviously, like, I love you. I love you the same 100%. Like, nothing's going to change. She was just like, just, you know, just be careful with, you know, who you talk to. Be careful with, you know, just basically everything. Just, you know, wear condoms, da, 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 the whole, the whole nine yards, which I already knew. I already knew all about that stuff. Um, so yeah, so then I told my mom. <sighs> Who did I tell next? Okay, so I okay, this is what I told my dad and my brothers. I have told my older brother. I have two older brothers, but I had told my older older brother, my first oldest brother, I had told him, um, we was actually in the car and I forgot how the conversation had uh, started, but I was basically making up a shitty ass lie about how in college how I hooked up with a girl. But um, the story that I was telling him was, uh, like I said, a really shitty lie because I can lie better. It's just I I can lie better. It's just um, it was like right on the spot. And I was like, fuck, I'm like, shit, maybe I should have like maybe come up with a backup plan, like a, like a lie or story already. But I just I don't know like I don't know for some reason it's like I felt like I could have made a better lie but at the same time I was tired of having to lie like I was tired of having to lie I was tired of having to hide myself from everybody especially for my family like I'm around them 24 7 like my friends know everybody else in the town or maybe not knows but I know people at my job know because I would tell people at my job that I was back sexual I was bisexual and stuff like that. So I was like, everybody besides my family knows. So I was like, I have to tell them. Like, in the back of my mind, I was like, I have to tell him. So I was just, like, making up a fake lie, like, a really shitty lie. And he was just like, you serious? I was like, no. He was like, all right, so what happened? I was like, it was a guy. I hooked up with a guy. He was like, yeah, I kind of figured you hooked up with a guy because you could have came up with a better lie than this. And I was like, I know I could have. And he was like, why? He was like, why? Um, he was like, why didn't you tell me? And I was just like, well... It's not that I didn't want to tell you. It's just, like, I was trying to find the right time to tell you. Like, like when it comes to coming out, I guess you can say, like I said, I don't like it. I don't like saying that I'm coming out. It's more or less just, like, saying that I'm coming true to myself. But when it comes to shit like this, you got to, I guess, tell people. Because if you can just come out of nowhere with a boyfriend or a girlfriend, if you're if you're a girl, and you're just like, oh, yeah, this is my girlfriend. And you're like, since when did this happen? Like, da 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 So it's just like, oh, God. So, Yeah. But um, I had wound up telling him, and he was like, why didn't you tell me before? And I was just like, I was trying to find a way to tell you. And then he was telling me how he has a cousin that is gay, and that how um, how when he, um, when he was younger, like in high school, he was really, um, he admitted it. He told me that he was real ignorant. He was, um, he was real ignorant, ignorant when it came um, to talking about um, 
gay people and, and stuff like that. He told me he was real ignorant and that um, he, when he got older, he started learning more and he started understanding, like, there are people too, like, you know what I mean? Like, just because you're friends with a, um, just because you're a guy and you're friends with a, um, a guy that's gay doesn't mean that they want to sleep with you or it doesn't mean that they want to be in a relationship with you. That's not how that means. That's not what that is 100% of the time. Now, um, when I had, what is it? I told a lot of people at my job and a lot of people at my job, they were, um, they're, they're, um, they were straight men and I had told them, they was like, oh yeah, we're fine. Um, we're cool. Obviously, um, it was like, I'm cool. Like, I don't really care. Da, 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 da. Just don't try nothing. I was just like, first of all, nigga, I was never planning on trying anything. I didn't, I never found you attractive. You were never on my radar. So boy, bye. So, I mean, sometimes you gotta cut niggas up. Sometimes you gotta clip niggas like that. And, you know, you just gotta push them to the side. Cause sometimes they ego just get up here and it's just like simmer down, snowflake. Cause nobody was, nobody was at you like that. Nobody was looking at you like that. Even before I came out, I was never looking at you like that. I never thought about you like that. So sometimes you gotta like, sometimes you gotta put straight niggas in their place. Cause straight niggas, they like to get crazy. Like, oh, don't come at me. Like, oh, stop. We could be cool. We could be cool. Just don't try to get at me. Boy, bye. I was never trying to get at you from the jump. I was never even trying to, never on my radar. Anyways. Um, so, yeah. So, I wanted to tell my brother. He uh, he was fine with it. He was accepting. I actually um, met his, um, I met his cousin that he was talking about. His cousin's awesome. He's a little, he's older than me. So, he has like, he has more, he's more, um, he has more insight when it comes to stuff like this. So I would ask, I asked him a couple questions and he was just like telling me basically like, just watch out. The same shit I So that was me telling my, my one brother. Um, I wound up telling my sister that is gay. I wound up telling her and she was like, oh, she was like, oh, for real? I was like, yeah. She was like, me too. And I was like, for real? She was like, yeah. I was like, oh shit. But in the way I kind of felt like she might have been too because she was kind of tomboyish not even kind of she still is really tomboyish so i kind of had an assumption but i never asked her only because there's straight girls out there too that there's straight girls out there that like to dress up that like to dress up like you know girls um this this i'm sorry i'm like drawing a blank i just pulled up um, but yeah, there's straight girls out there that like to dress in guy clothes suit, which there's obviously nothing wrong with. Obviously, shit, girls, girls can, girls can do it all. They can dress like guys, girls, they can do it all, honestly. So I wound up telling her she was fine with it. Um, I wound up telling, I have two dads. Um, I wound up telling my one dad, um, which is my sister's dad, but I, he raised me, so I still claim him as my father. Um, literally, nobody else can tell me different. You're not gonna persuade me. Oh, but that's not. No, that's my fucking dad. Dude, I don't care. Um, told my dad he was like he didn't really care. Um, and plus he he, he had a brother, God rest his soul. Um, my uncle he passed away years ago, years ago, years ago. I'm actually really upset that he did pass away because um, he probably would have been the first person that I told actually. If my uncle was still alive, he would have probably been the first person that I would have told that I was gay. So when I told my um, my sister's dad, aka my dad, that I was gay, he didn't really care. He was just like, okay, and so what? Like, I still love you. You're still my son, regardless. Da, 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 da. But when I told my dad, he was 100% okay with it. He was like, he didn't really care because he had a brother who, who was gay. Um, so he already knew. Well, I don't, he didn't know that I was gay, but I mean, maybe he did. I don't know. I think everybody that knows me knows that I was a little meh or I had a little sugar in my tank. Um, I, they was just, I guess, waiting for me to come out to them because, you know, yeah. Um, so then I told my um, my actual dad, my biological father, um, I had told him and I had told my second oldest brother. I had told him at the same time um, we were driving in the car. We had just got finished with the job. Um we had pulled up to the house and um he turned the car off and i was like wait before anybody gets to the car i gotta tell you guys something and he was just like what i was like i'm gay and he was just like okay and my brother was like okay and they was just like okay nothing changes we don't care i was just like all right cool so yeah so i want to tell them um i'm thankful i'm thankful that Everybody that I surrounded myself with, family-wise, friends-wise, I'm thankful that 
they didn't disown me or they didn't treat me any differently. Now, there's a lot of people, and I'm very, very sorry for them, but there are people out there that come out to their families and their families 100% disown them, which I think is 100% wrong. Like, it's so wrong. I think it's really disrespectful and I think it's rude um, that your child that you fucking pushed out your pussy, bro, that you just automatically disown them because they don't fit into your lifestyle. Um... I think that's really, I think that's wrong. It's, it's really cruel and it's messed up that there are actually people out there like that. And there's people out there that come out to their friends and come out to their family. And everybody's just like, yeah, no, 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 we don't like that. We, mm -mm, that's not okay, Jaden. That's not okay. No. Like, and it's just like, it's not y'all life to dictate. Like, y'all can't, you know what I mean? Like, y'all can't tell me who I can and who I cannot like or love or who I can and cannot um, hang around with. Um, so, I mean, for the people that are like that, I do apologize. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry that you have to go su do stuff like that, but, um, maybe that was telling you, that was showing you something. Cause I feel like a, a lot of people, um, gay people, especially when they come out to their family and their family disowns them, I feel like those are the people that work even harder. You know what I mean? Like work even harder to show, to, to basically showing people like you just own me you didn't want me in your life for whatever reason whatever beliefs or whatever the hell you want and look at me i'm doing way better than you have been doing and i'm doing way better than you oh i got my nails done by the way something something minimal nothing crazy i don't really like doing all that bling and shit like that i don't feel people like doing bling i was just doing these um it was actually from um it's a guy and um this Korean K-pop group, I forgot what his name is, but he does, and I was like, oh shit, that's kind of cool. Yeah, so there's people out there like that, and I feel like they strive, um, they strive, um, they strive, they have more drive, and I feel like they just want to get things done, because, like, they don't, they never really had that help, so they have more independence. Um, but I feel like I have the same amount of independence, and my family loves me, but then again, like, I've always had I still have the, I still, I've always had the same drive, even when I was younger, like, when I was younger, I always wanted a job, and I always wanted to just get my own money, I was always sick and tired of having, I was always sick and tired of having to ask people for stuff, like, even now and then, like, even now, like, I ask people for stuff, and I'm just like, I really don't want to ask you for anything, so I probably won't ask you for nothing, but yeah. I'm fortunate that all my family loves me and supports me the same, um, now they're, my biological father, he actually, me and him, I spoke a, a while ago, and he was telling me how obviously he loves me the same. He said he loves all his kids the same. Um, he he's happy that I'm happy, but he told me he was just like, but I just I am okay with the lifestyle that you're living, but I'm not a hundred percent okay and comfortable with it, which. At the time, it it hurt me. It hit me like it hurt me. Um, still, it kind of does hurt me now. Um, but I can't really do much about what he feels. I can just... I can just accept it, I guess. Like, I'm... As long as he's not, like... As long as he's not disrespecting me in any way, then I'm fine. So far, he hasn't disrespected me in any way. He doesn't make, um... Like, he doesn't make gay jokes or gay remarks around me, um... Anymore. He used to do it all the time. It was annoying. Um, but, um... Yeah, so when he had said that, it rubbed me the wrong way. And it hit me hard a little bit. Like, it, um... I was just like, wow, like, um... I'm... Like, but at that time, like... I, w I didn't show it. I didn't show that I was hurt by it. But deep down inside, I was just like, damn, I'm kind of hurt by it. Like, like I would want my parents to accept me 100%. But he told me that he accepts me, just he, he's just not 100% comfortable with it. So, I mean, take it a, take it a leap. Take, oh, excuse me, take, take, take it a leave it, I guess. Um, Now, the era that he grew up, my Dad, both of my fathers are hood, like a hood dude. They grew up in the hood. They did all that stuff. So when he told me that, 
when he told me that when he told me that I was like okay like I understand where he's coming from because of the um the ja- like um the generation that he was raised around but at the same time I was just like damn like I kind of wish he would just you know what I mean but I mean can't really do much about it as long as she's not as long as she's not obviously making me feel uncomfortable or anything but she don't make me feel he don't make me feel uncomfortable but It just is like wow. So you don't really accept me 100. percent Can't really do much about it. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I finally come to the end of this video. Um, I told you about my coming out story, which, like I told you, I don't really like calling it coming out. I just like calling it coming more myself. Um, but yeah, that was me telling my family and stuff like that. Um. I want to try to release more videos. I always say this. I want to try to release more videos, but it just always, something always comes up. Literally, something always comes up. Either that, either either something always comes up, or I just never have anything to do. Like I don't really know what to do. Like I don't really have any content to put out. I don't really know what to talk about. Um, but yeah. All right. Well, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for um clicking on my video and watching it. Um, hopefully you like my video. Like and subscribe because it literally always helps. Um, I think I have like 15 subscribers now. Shit, I hope I can get to 20. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna put my social media down in the description so you can follow me on those. Follow my TikTok. I'll be posting. I post videos literally on. I think I post videos on TikTok literally almost every single day, only because the editing isn't as much as YouTube. But yeah, thank you. Have a nice day, and hope y'all have a beautiful October 11th. Happy National Coming Out Day. Bye.